Hello you guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Andy, if it's your first time here. I've chosen to rate uniforms from American, Delta, JetBlue, and Hawaiian Airlines today. So let's get right into this video. I'm gonna let you know just my thoughts, my feelings, my personal rating of what I think of these uniforms. First up is American Airlines. Their new uniform was revealed in early 2020. Apparently employees were asked to vote on selected designs as well as being surveyed to provide feedback. And the uniform has been manufactured by the US clothing retailer Lands End. I've got to say from the get-go, the most impressive thing about the American Airlines flight attendant uniform is the options. There are so many options. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I have like a certain expectation of each airline and one of my biggest priorities is that do the flight attendants have multiple options of their uniform pieces especially the female flight attendants I mean guys how much can you really mix up a pair of trousers and a shirt not so much but the ladies need different things so I always try to keep that as top of mind as well as like comfort fit it's all of these things but I love 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 seeing that American has so many options and they don't just stop at like oh having a skirt and a shirt and pants and a dress just the dress alone there's a short sleeve dress there's a long sleeve dress there's a plain navy shirt but there's also the shirt that has the weird like print on it the black stripey thing that's going on there they've got a long sleeve version of that and a short sleeve version of that there's a waistcoat there's a skirt there's trousers you know the whole the whole shebang secondly it looks like it's really functional it looks like it was made well it was tailored well and like I said it is there to perform a function it is there to make sure that the flight attendants can perform their function functions but at the same time they did try to make it a little bit more interesting I feel like the little bit of a print or just the fabric that is used on the men's tie adds so much interest I love how muted but beautiful their tie is I just it looks so smart and so stylish it is by far for me personally the best male uniform from all of the airlines in the US I'm if you follow life with life of francesco life by francesco he's a flight attendant youtuber or even benjamin what is his channel name on wings every time that i would see a video of his and he was wearing that uniform he just they look stunning in it they really look stunning i also love that this uniform was created with a lot of input and feedback from the crew that work for the airline so you know that the people who led this are the people who are going to be wearing this uniform for a long time and I feel like American really listened to their crew when it came to this uniform I think that the dress is really nice however I'm not understanding the buttons in the front of it just because I feel like buttons all the way down something and I am literally wearing a button-down shirt but whenever I wear like a dress that has buttons down and like if you bend over or if you sit down it just things open up it's not the most comfortable so I wonder if it's got that like buttoning where it really stays closed and it you know keeps it doesn't like have a big gap if you do sit down or anything like that because that would be really nice and I do find that the dress is it's not the most flattering but it is a smart looking dress but in terms of functionality and options I feel like this uniform is really really well done it is such a smart design and for that reason I will be giving American Airlines an 8.5 out of 10. Next, we have Delta Airlines. Delta's uniform was created by the fashion designer Zach Posen. Now, he's more of like a couture red carpet designer. I've been his fan since the Project Runway days. I understand that he basically was there to add that extra level of glamour or bring back that level of glamour to the modern day flight attendant uniforms. We wanted Delta employees to look glamorous on the job without sacrificing functionality and style, said Posen. I worked alongside employees to understand how they interact with the clothes they wear and developed a look that empowers and excites. 
because we want Delta's global workforce to exude the confidence and thoughtfulness that reflects the airline's brand. A couple weeks ago, I was in the airport and I had just walked through immigration and there were these two Delta flight attendants, one male, one female, that were walking ahead of me. They were literally like a meter or two ahead of me. So I got to really just like stare them down because I was walking behind them. So hopefully it wasn't that creepy, but I was just staring at the uniform. So I finally got to see it in person because I do love it. I love the color, that that sweet plum color is just stunning to me. The guy was wearing the gray suit and as much as the gray suit is very just like it's a basic gray suit I've got to give it to Delta for trying to level it up a little bit. They've added the two stripes in the sleeve of the blazer. They've added a pocket square and the print on the tie is really really pretty. The lady she was wearing the purple skirt with the purple waistcoat and the purple mock neck sweater underneath and I've got to say she also looked really nice but when I do look at the pieces more in depth form especially the two dresses there is one that has like a built-in scarf almost I like that Zach Posen really tried to break it up a little bit by using different fabric so it's still the same purple but at least there's parts like where the sleeve ends that is a shinier fabric and where that built-in scarf is is a bit of a shinier fabric and then the rest of the dress is matte. I'm not the biggest fan of the white shirt with the built-in scarf thingy. I don't know what it is about that. It just doesn't look... It looks like you're getting ready to go fencing. The ladies, they've also got a ton of options which is another pro. The fact that there are skirts and tops and waistcoats, a shirt, the mock neck, there's a jersey, the two different types of the dress. It's also got gloves and their matching purple handbag is so cute. It really does. It kind of takes you back to the like the glamorous days of the flight attendants we used to see in the 50s. I love how I say that as if I literally was growing up in the 50s. I was not. I'm only 30 years old. But like, you know, when you see the pictures and you see you watch the movies and you see like what the flight attendants used to dress like back in the day, this kind of takes me back. I never thought red and purple would work very well, but I actually don't mind it. However, in saying that, I don't mind it in the print and in the scarf. I do mind it in the giant trench coat because that entire coat is just full on red and then you're wearing like your full purple uniform underneath it's a lot it's a lot like because there's already so much purple and then it's just this big bright red trench coat it's just, it's just a lot i heard that there was a some kind of lawsuit against delta from the crew when i was doing my research on this uniform that said that the purple uniform was giving the crew like skin reactions so they were getting like rashes and stuff from that uniform which I don't really understand how that came about but nor do I know if it's like over or if the whole case is still ongoing or whatever but I did see that they did introduce some more gray pieces so that's it's cool to see that they like you know switched it up and they tried to help the crew somehow however I wish that if it was just a matter of like the fabric didn't agree with people that were wearing it that they would have found a different fabric that worked better for everyone's skin and that was like made properly but with still keeping that purple color you know because now there's so many just plain gray pieces if it's just the gray pieces that you wear let's say the female cabin crew if they're just gonna wear like the gray skirt and a gray vest and a white shirt and then the only thing that'll be a point of interest will be the scarf just the print on the scarf like I understand literally people were getting rashes from the uniform but if they were able to find like a different fabric then keeping the color shouldn't have been that big of a deal I'd imagine I don't know I don't know that's just my own preference but anyway I think I've already covered this my pros are the dress neckline I love those the gloves are a cool addition the scarf print is great the males look great the print on the tie is cohesive with the scarf and I really like the mock neck sweater and then cons for me are just the solid pass bought plum purple which is what they call that shade of purple there is not much to break it up but I appreciate that Zach Posen tried to use the different fabrics and stuff and that there's some gold buttons in there this much purple is not bothering me so I really like this uniform and I'm actually gonna give them a nine right now Delta's uniform is my favorite <laughs> I couldn't find any information on JetBlue's uniform in terms of who designed it and when it was unveiled and stuff like that. So we'll just move on. We'll just move right into what I like about it and what I dislike about it. I really like how flattering the shape of the dress is. I've seen so many pictures 
of flight attendants wearing the jet blue dress. Ladies of all different shapes and sizes and this dress still makes each and every one of them look so good. I have to hand it to them, they did a really really good job. I don't know if it's the fabric they're using or just the line of it and like where the belt sits. I like how the dress kind of like has this thing that's like folding over almost, although it's not like a wrap skirt, it kind of looks like it is. And we all know that a wrap dress is one of the most flattering things any woman can wear. So I love that they've somehow incorporated that in there and it just, it has made everybody look so good. The orange stripe is actually really super interesting. The placement of it, I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it. And my old airline, I used to wear an orange uniform so the color doesn't bother me at all either. I think it's so cute. I love that they've mixed it with the navy. The dress, ooh, does the dress have pockets? Yes, it does. I love that. You see, the thing I like about this uniform dress especially, it is simple and it gets to the point, but it still looks really smart and really flattering and really nice. Whereas the American dress, I feel like it had a little bit, go it had quite a lot going on uh, in terms of like the, 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 the buttons and the pockets and all that stuff. It had quite a lot going on. So I like the simplicity of this dress. It just looks really, really good. But in saying that, it does also make it look a little bit more casual, like the top half of the dress does look a lot more casual i've got to say um but yeah overall i really like the ladies uniform i like that there is an option with the skirt and the light blue shirt i think it's cool the print on the scarf not my favorite but also it's not offensive uh the pleats at the back of the skirt are they're fine i prefer just a simple like single slit but these pleats are they're also not offensive i like that this uniform is worn with black stockings as well i'm just i'm partial to black stockings i think because all over south africa our airlines are making us wear black male colored stockings and those they're not black but they're also not skin color it's like a weird other little brown in between color that never seems to truly match anybody's skin tone <laughs> So yeah, I like the black. I think that it looks really nice and it it works well with this uniform. The guy's uniform looks smart. My legs are going numb. Oh, okay, excuse me. But yeah, I like I like the uniform. There's nothing wrong with it really, but it's also not the most exciting either. There's nothing like specific about it that you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Except of course for the fit of the dress. The fit of the dress, I've gotta say, they they just knocked that one really out of the park. Although I don't think they have like a coat or anything for like cold weather. They seem to only have a blazer. So yeah, with that said, Jet Blue gets a nice 7.5 out of 10. Okay, and last up is the Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant uniform. This uniform was unveiled in 2017 alongside their new A321neo long haul aircraft. It was designed by Sig Zane and he worked in collaboration with Affinity Apparel and a uniform committee that consisted of over 40 Hawaiian frontline employees. The prints Lehua, Blossom and Ohi Kapala comprise a design story carried through every piece of each work group's uniform as applied in different scales and tonalities to prints, linings and woven elements. It was very important for us to create something that would represent Hawaii wherever we fly, said Avi Manis, Senior VP of Marketing at Hawaiian Airlines. I like this uniform and can I just say, can every airline when they unveil a new uniform just do like a runway show of it and also post a video of it so that I can see the uniform move, you know? I think that is so cool that I was able to find a video of this online. I think it's cute. I didn't realize that they also have gloves, which I find a little unnecessary considering they live in Hawaii. It's fine. I think that the color of the dress, that main navy color is so pretty, but also I like that they've incorporated their culture in such a special way for them and i like how they didn't want to like overwhelm me <laughs> me as if they literally were thinking what will andy say about our uniform when she sees this uh, no but i just mean the print of this flower of theirs it is really special to them i do find it to be a bit much on the shirts 
I like how they have put it into everything else in like not a super like overwhelming bam in your face kind of a way. Aside from the shirts, I like how they've incorporated the print like in the belt in a really subtle way. And the lining of the poncho, it's in the lining of the skirt. Like it's, it's cool that it's there, but it doesn't have to be seen all over them all the time. I do like that with this uniform, they prioritized employee feedback and input. That's something that I think is top notch and should always be priority when any airline is designing a new uniform. I think that this uniform really represents Hawaii, the culture, the island and its people in such a beautiful way. I've never been to Hawaii, but you know, movies, they taught me a lot. <laughs> At first, I would have said that this uniform is not the most formal, but once I saw the video and actually looked at the pieces moving, I, I think it makes sense. It makes sense for Hawaii. It is formal, but in a Hawaiian way, like in an island way, it is formal enough for them. And I really like that. I like how they've got so many options and they put the pieces together so creatively. It Guys, it blew my mind when I saw that one of these skirts is in fact a skort. <laughs> and that was thanks to this runway video. Like I said, other airlines, please make a video of your uniform so that us mere mortals are able to really see what it looks like and how it moves. Yeah, I think that's so funny that they made one skirt into like a skort almost. It's quite nice actually because you'll find yourself sometimes having to like lean over people and bend over or reach up and stuff. And if you're wearing a skirt, it can be quite uncomfortable to move in that way in front of passengers. So it's nice that they actually have a piece that is in fact a skort where you are just a little bit more covered up, but you can't tell. Like you really, I could not tell that that was a skort until the lady like flipped open that piece in the front. I think that's so cool. I'm not sure about the poncho because I get it. They wanted, they wanted a piece for colder weather, which is great, but I do think that a, a coat would have been nice as well, you know, because I don't feel like the poncho would help very much if they have like a Chicago flight. I also thought that maybe the skirts and the shirts should fit a little bit better, but come to think of it, they do live in Hawaii and it is very warm majority of the year. The looser fit of the uniform works for them because you don't want to be like in the super constricting tight fitting thing when you work on a tropical island. You know, like it's it's humid probably, it's really warm there most of the time from what the internet has told me. And then lastly, just for me, it comes down to personal taste with the print. I just, I'm not a fan of big massive prints all over a specific piece of clothing. I think it, it would be nicer if it was like a little bit like smaller and stuff. But in saying that again, it is really vibrant and it is really beautiful and it is really Hawaiian. Overall, I really think that this uniform is quite nice and it is getting an 8.5 out of 10 from me. All right, thank you so much you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know in the comments who you think should have scored the highest score, what your thoughts on each of the airline's uniforms are. I would be really interested to know. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and until I see you on the next video, continue spreading good vibes and being kind. Bye. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more